Hi, I'm Karen. Today we're going to talk about the Burnett B77 and we're going to talk about the threading and the bobbin winding on this. To start with, we want to unthread our machine and when you unthread your machine, always make sure the presser foot is up. That releases the tension disc and when you do that, cut your thread up here and pull it out at the needle area. That's to make sure that the thread ten the, uh, tension discs are not closed and they don't get lint built up in lint. So, good new habit, snip here, pull out down here. Now, the book is going to tell you to turn your machine off for safety purposes, but for videoing, I like to have my light on here. Okay, so to start with, we're going to wind a bobbin. Now, your spool goes on the spool pin like this. You put your spool cap on. The spool cap is important because it's going to keep your spool on, to keep it from sliding off. So follow the thread guides that are the dotted lines, and that's how we're going to wind the bobbin. So we pull this under here like that, come around this way, just like the little guide shows you right there. And then the arrow points over here. Oops, we got into something. There we go. Um, and there's a picture of a bobbin. Make sure you use the same kind of bobbins that are included in your accessory bag. This is a class 15 bobbin. It's a fairly common uh, style of bobbin. If you have metal bobbins or old bobbins that go to a different machine, don't use them in this machine. You need to use the correct bobbins for each machine that you have. Okay, so we push this down here, push this over like that, and notice it gives a picture of bobbin winding. Now to get this going, we need to push the start stop button. The foot control is not going to work for getting it going for winding the bobbin. So push the start stop button. And then after it's made several revolutions, notice I held that thread tail, I push the stop and now I can snip that off and keep winding. The reason I held that before and made several revolutions is that's to make sure that that start of that thread tail gets covered up by the wraps of thread. So just keep pushing that for however full we want to make it. Now, this has a stopper, so if you filled up your bobbin all the way full, the wraps of thread would push against that stopper and push this back. And that makes it so it doesn't keep winding or overwinding. So once we're done, lift this off. We've got a thread cutter right there. Makes it really nice. Okay, so putting your bobbin in, I'm going to take the other bobbin out that's already in the machine. Putting your bobbin in, there's a little diagram on the cover of the bobbin case. It shows you how you should put your thread in. Now we want to make sure the thread is coming off the left hand side like this. It kind of looks like the letter P. So put that right down in there like that and then get past this little plastic leaf there and notice it's spinning a little bit, so we want to stop it from spinning, pull the thread back firmly, and that helps it sink down into the, the tension area on the um, bobbin case. So you have tension up here for your top thread, you also have it for your bobbin. And we pull it around this way to the right and it cuts it off right there. You do not need to pull up your thread through the needle plate. You can if you want to, but you don't have to. You can just start sewing just like that. Then we put this on here and that's ready to go. Okay, for threading the top. This time we're gonna follow the solid lines and the solid arrows. So pull this underneath there, around the back just like that, down this way, always making sure that your presser foot is up because that opens the tension disc. Up this way, around the take up lever, just like the arrow says, and then down this way. Now here we have a hook on this side and then we have a needle bar hook. There's two of them because if you were using two spools of thread to do twin needle sewing, you'd need to use both sides. But when you're using just a single, you go up the, over the back, just like that. Just kind of watch what you're doing, you can see. Next, we get to do the needle threading, which is wonderful on this machine. You push this down, and when you push this down, it automatically lowers the foot so that you can thread your needle. And then it also gives you a chart right up here on your touch screen so you can see how that goes like that. In front of the needle, because there's a hook here and a hook on the other side right next to the needle, 
then we're going to cut the thread off right there. There's a thread cutter on this side. That thread cutter is just for threading your needle. There's another thread cutter for once you're done sewing your, uh, sewing your work on the left hand side. So we lift this up and we pull it through and there's a little loop of thread. Now sometimes it will pull it all the way through. I've noticed occasionally it will do that because the thread cutter makes the thread tail short enough so that it uh, can pull the thread all the way through the needle. But at least it will give you a little bit of a, a loop there. Really nice feature. And then, of course, you can lift up your uh, presser foot, put it down, and it's ready to sew. That is threading and bobbin winding on your Burnett B77. I hope this video has been helpful to you. If it has, give us a thumbs up. And if you have comments or questions, you can leave those in the area down below. We have lots of other videos for you to watch here on our Montevilla YouTube channel. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye.